This is the very first time Sorry, that they've here. done Hello my Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, I am so excited. I finally got the Boxu Japanese subscription box. I have never heard of Boxu before until I started getting alerts on my Instagram that they were going to start to have a collaboration with Hello Kitty and Friends. Now Boxu is supposed to be uh, authentic Japanese snacks uh, and I've seen some YouTube videos on Boxu but they're like over a year old, maybe two years old, nothing. Uh, updated nothing new as in this year 2023 and i also believe that this is the very first time that they've done a collaboration with hello kitty and friends so i am so excited and of course say hello kitty and i'm a sucker for it now it is a subscription box and of course when you go into the website it does give you different uh, rates uh, depending on how many boxes you want a year so I always try to go for the whole year to try to be as cheap as possible now I believe that this subscription box is about every other month so I should be getting six boxes per year and I will talk to you guys about the cost for Boxu in a little bit as far as Boxu all I know is that it's supposed to be according to the website authentic and adorable Japanese Hello Kitty snacks and they are supposed to include also like a little teacup and a saucer. Um, I'm like sign me up because anything Hello Kitty and it does have the aesthetic of that Japanese nice and relaxing tea drinking feeling. So that is exactly what I hope to get. Pre-orders did start March third and as soon as march third hit i'm trying to subscribe to the box and then later the website did state that they were going to start to mail the uh box to hello kitty boxes uh about starting march 31st so there was about let's say a whole month that people did have to wait now i don't know if i had to wait even more because of where i am it's a little bit harder i guess to try to get uh boxes considering if someone lived in let's say los angeles maybe those folks did get their boxes a little bit sooner nevertheless i just got my box today is april 8th and it is a saturday i got it very early morning i was so happy about that and so technically per the website if they started shipping out march 31st it took about eight days for me to get it so really not bad from when they released the box i am so 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 happy i've been waiting and i've been checking tracking number i am searching every day of when i was going to get my box because i was so anxious i wanted to make sure that i was here at home to receive my box so let me show you what i did get this is what the box looks like now let me say how happy i am that it is wrapped in bubble wrap and they just didn't ship the box plain like that. Uh, I don't like dirty boxes. I don't like dented boxes. I do look out for the condition of the boxes. I do plan on keeping the box too, depending if you can turn the box inside out. But this is how it came and it does have a fragile sticker. So appreciate of that. It did come with regular US Postal service and it is bubble wrap really nice from the outside it kind of looks like it's in great condition i hope that it is but let me just show you all around and here i'm not sure if you can see that there was maybe something did hit it because it, it it even tore the shipping label but let's hope that there's nothing uh, wrong with the condition of the box. So I do have my trusty scissors here. Let's open the box Okay, so let's go ahead and get started I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Ooh. Now guys um, 
I am going to put on my reading glasses because I really want to make sure that I get all the details of this box and I want to show you my reading glasses. So these are Foster Grant's reading glasses and they're the multifocal reading glasses. So you have three views to see far, to see your computer and then to read. Um, but what I did was I added a little Hello Kitty bow here just to make it a little extra special. But I am going to put on my glasses because I want to make sure I get everything from this shipment. And there you go. This subscription box was a little pricey, so I really want to make sure I'm going to take this apart. I want to make sure that you get every detail in case you are interested in ordering the Boxu Hello Kitty box. But just from the back, I absolutely love it. And it does have the Sakura theme to it. Um, I'm in love with the Sakura uh, uh, pink aesthetic, and I actually just did my keyboard. And these are just little decals that uh, you can put on your keyboard. I do have a Mac, and so what was able to fit on, you know, correspond with the little uh, keys, I went ahead and I put that little decal, but I am so in love with my keyboard and I didn't need to buy a new keyboard. So just to show you on that. So it does say Sakura Smiles Box, the best flavor for the best of friends. So happy. Hello Kitty and Friends and Boxu. And you do see a Hello Kitty, my Melody. You see Pocaccio here. You do see the Sakura flowers. Now, I do see that there was a little uh, dent here. So I'm not too concerned about that. I really like that the box is clean. And then you do see the Hello Kitty and Friends here. So let's go ahead and open this box. And you do see the rest of the Hello Kitty and Friends here. So I hope that with each and every box, they do include all of these Sanrio characters. Um, and then, of course, it doesn't hurt if they add more Hello Kitty than the rest of the characters because Hello Kitty is my favorite Sanrio character. So as far as the Sanrio, it does say 2023 Sanrio. So it is licensed at least for this year. And I'm so happy that it is is and then of course they're everywhere facebook instagram twitter youtube TikTok, you know everything do have a postcard here and um it looks like it does have the boxu uh symbol here you do see pocaccio cinnamon roll my melody and then some sakura flowers and then on the other side it does say hello kitty and friends and boxu and it just says, hi, wonderful friend, yada, yada, yada. Thank you for ordering. There you go. So that's what we have. Then we do have the actual little, uh, I guess, little pamphlet or little catalog that you should have everything that comes within the box. And it does say Sakura Smiles. And again, Hello Kitty and Friends and Boxu. And has a Hello Kitty up here. I mean, I love absolutely everything. Uh, and so in the back of the cover, it does say NYX Hangout. Hint, you're invited to another Hello Kitty Hangout in June. So it's telling me that my next box should be in June. So I am so happy. And then, of course, inside should be pretty much the descriptions of all the treats and items that I should get within the box, the flavors, and perhaps what part of Japan it comes from. Um, so also this box should also come with some tea and I'm not a tea drinker, but for this, I wouldn't mind just finishing whatever tea is in this box. I'm more of a coffee drinker though. Um, but nevertheless, I mean, I'm just so happy with with that I even got the box. I'm so, so, so happy. I hope that everything's nice and fresh and I'm sure that it is. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's in this box. I do have another postcard here and um, it's giving me also a lot of uh, detail on, cause it does come with a cup and saucer and that's what it tells you when you're gonna be ordering. It tells you that you are gonna have a cup and saucer within your first box. I don't know if we're gonna be getting ceramic items, uh, tangible items 
in each and every box. I wish that they would do that. I don't know. This is my first box, so this may be just an in introductory uh, special item that they included. So we'll, we'll have to see about that. And then it does say uh, adorable and authentic about your snack plate and tea cup. But pretty much it's just saying that this is uh, these are handmade specifically just for the Hello Kitty and Friends box soup box. So it is very authentic and that is exactly what I'm looking for. I've been getting into the uh, watching of the YouTube videos for Japan, uh, like uh, women one says living alone in Japan and you know she either lives in Tokyo or she lives in other areas uh, of Japan and I've just been so fascinated with watching those YouTube channels and I just love them and I kind of wish I was like right there experiencing what they're experiencing walking through these beautiful uh, sakuro trees or when they're you know blooming now you know they're blossoming and everything and i kind of wish like oh you know maybe i should think about taking a trip down to japan so who knows so now what should come in every box according to the website are 20 plus snacks uh hello kitty collectible items a friend's guide which is your little manual and then the boxu exclusives and so i'm not sure exactly what is what other than the hello kitty collectibles like for this box should be the uh, little cup and saucer but you should be getting 20 plus snacks wow that's like a lot of snacks i think this is going to be a long video guys if you can just hold on with me i'm so excited to show everything that i got in this box and um i hope that you enjoy this video remember give this video a thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so so first item that i see here it's a satsumache and this might be a tea the packaging is very beautiful and i know that it's a tea because you do see a teapot there and of course the writing is in japanese and of course i do not understand anything so basically what i would do then is just look up the item on the guide to tell me a little bit more about what i'm looking at And so for this one, this is supposed to be a green tea. And so you do see the picture here. And it also tells you if there's any allergens in case you have any allergens, what the ingredients that the product has. And that's also great to know. So it's vegetarian, um, no common allergens. And so and it also tells you brewing instructions, which is awesome. So this is a green tea here. That's the first item next item i do see it feels like it's a little jelly uh i guess like a like a gummy so this one should be a strawberry choco mochi i don't think that's right um this mochi is called daifuku and it's a stuffed mochi flavored with chocolate and amo strawberries so um, because it doesn't look chocolatey, it looks more like it's for berries or like strawberries. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it tastes like. And it's very squishy. It's so fresh. Now I do notice here on the book that it does say My Melody's Picnic Picks. And as soon as I open it, I get that burst of berry taste. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Not sure if you can see that so delicate mm. it is so good it like melts in your mouth right away mm -hmm. it is so good it's light tasting so 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 good I definitely get the strawberry I don't get the choco I just hope that I'm reading the right description because I did not get the choco at all. It doesn't even look like it's supposed to be a choco item. Now, I do see that we have another one just like this. So cool, we have two of those. We have the Sakura Mochi Azuki Crunch. And these are supposed to be freeze-dried Azuki red beans, cornflakes, rich chocolate. Um, so we got two of these. Uh, they're very small but hopefully very tasty. So let's go ahead and open one up. And it looks like a little mini wafer cookie. 
I do see little specks of perhaps chocolate. This one I can tell if it does have like choco chocolate in it. Mmm. And the taste is so good. Mmm. Very crunchy. Very fresh. Very tasty. Very, very. It has a very uh, delicate, sweet taste. One of the things that I was concerned with was because I'm a big time sweet eater and I have a sweet tooth like you wouldn't believe. And for me, eating cake, I prefer it with buttercream because it's the most sweetness. Um, I do not like cakes with whipped cream. To me, whipped cream is just a waste of a dessert. That's just how much of a sweet tooth I have. So the sweeter that e snack is, the better. I, I love it. I'm just so addicted to it. And I was... Uh, thinking that perhaps some of these Japanese snacks were just going to be very light tasting. It wasn't going to satisfy my sweet tooth. But these do have, although it's a very light sweet taste, you, f you do taste all of the other flavors and it is very satisfying. Okay, so let's look at what's next in the box. And we do have these two. They look like perhaps little ginger cookies, but let's see. Okay, so we're right on this page. And these are the Sakura Chinsuko. These are supposed to be shortbread cookies. So let's go ahead and open one up and see what it tastes like. I do like the little packaging, the little sakura flowers there. I believe they're cherry blossoms. And it's supposed to be like a little star. It does look like shortbread. And it does have a red tint, the little cookie. So let's see what it tastes like. And that's what it looks like. Mm. Very, very light tasting. This one, I hardly taste like the butter, if there's any butter in it. Um, and I hardly taste the, the sweetness. So remember that my my taste buds are ready to, to tack on a high, high intensity sweet dessert. This one to me is extremely low, very, very, very low. It's very good, but not sweet at all, just so you know. So we do have two of these. We also got two little packages. That's a coral shrimp. So these are Oranda Zanbi Sakura shrimp. And these are rice crackers. So these are supposed to be smooth, buttery, savory. Uh, rice crackers really cute now another thing that I do like is that I'm looking for the product on the actual guide here it looks exactly the way it should be so I know exactly that what I'm reading as far as ingredients is exactly what um, I'm looking at rice cracker cookies so you don't only get just sweet snacks you get savory snacks as well oh and these are big and let me just say that these are not broken look at how big this is a little rice cracker of course rice crackers are thin but they are not broken so let's taste mm. whoa you do get the shrimp flavor you get to do, do get that seafood flavor so good i imagine eating these with like a dip but that's, uh, that's what I like to do with crackers. So we do have two packages of these Sakura shrimp little packages. Ooh, so now we actually have a snack that does have a Hello Kitty uh, picture on it. Uh, any Hello Kitty and friends. So this is the authentic Japanese rice crackers. And it does say that they are lightly salted. And these are the spring Zembe rice crackers. Um, these say that these are cute crackers that are shaped like flowers and lightly flavored with soy sauce for a salty taste. I really, really love the packaging because it is Hello Kitty. And you do see the Hello Kitty image on the back as well. I do want to say first off that I absolutely love all of the packaging. Everything so far has been fresh. So we do have a little notch here where you can open it. And 
You get multicolor little crackers, little rice crackers. And these are the shapes for these little rice crackers. So pretty. The pink is just lovely. Let's see. Mm. Really fresh, very crunchy. Get a very, very light taste. Just a very good and healthy snack. Now, I was also looking to see perhaps calorie. Do they have like a nutritional guide in the back? Um, I don't see it as far as when they're describing each of these items. Um, but they may be when you go into the website. So if you wanted to know as far as how much calories it has, the actual packaging itself does not state that. Delicious. So, ooh, now we have a handmade Japanese hard candy. And it does say sweet sakura. And these say that these are candy that dissolves lightly on the palate. The taste is slightly floral and sweet. So great. I love the packaging, light pink, the Hello Kitty visual. I really like that. And it does have that little pinch pouch where you can reseal it again if you're not done with everything so little notches to open it easily and that is what i am doing here now very very tiny candy i think they look like little miniature lifesavers so this is oh wow so this is the candy and you can actually see there's that they're just not plain candy. There's like little bits inside of the candy. So I'm gonna try one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Definitely extremely light tasting, um, very light sweet tasting. This is another item that if I really wanted to satisfy my sweet tooth this would not be the item to do it because it's so 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 light tasting but nevertheless it's still very good okay now we are moving to it looks like a box of little tartlets and these are strawberry tartlets um they're baked then layered with gelatin free strawberry jam and this is a tasty biscuit with the tart berry freshness also, within the guide that explains every item, it does say if this is a vegetarian item or not, and that's also very good to know. Uh, I can't wait. I hope that this one does have like that punch of, of sweetness that I crave. So this is what the box looks like. So let's go ahead and open it. Ooh, so you do get quite a few within this little box here and they're going to be little tiny tartlets so let's see what it looks like so that is what it looks like so again notice that the cookies are not broken they're shipped very well and let's see what it tastes like Mm -hmm. they're so good and these cookies will satisfy my sweet tooth again it's not overpowering it's not like a 10 in sweetness the way I'm used to but it's in the middle so that's good enough very delicious very very fresh and the cookie is just so light almost non crunchy because that's just how fresh it is so now we have, it says Sakura Donut Bow. So I'm assuming these are like little finger donuts. So it says here on the guide, Sakura Donut Stick Cakes. Ooh. So it says flavor sweet. Um, and it says that it has a crisp exterior to reveal the soft cake that's scented and flavored with Sakura. Yummy, yummy. So now I can see why they say 20 plus snacks because they include almost two of everything, which is great. 
also a little stick cake. Again, I hope that this would be on the level of sweetness from like a medium to high. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very cute. So delicate looking. Ooh, so this is what it looks like. And these sacks are not like a big old donut, big old cookie chunk. They're just little finger sweet snacks. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. It's very good tasting, very light tasting. And to me, this would be in the in the range between light tasting and medium tasting of sweetness. So, so, so good. I figured that some of these would be like if you're watching your diet or if you want to kind of level yourself from not eating too much sweets, these would be the snacks to eat. Now, I'm not degrading them. It's just that, again, I'm used to the overpowering, like pie in your face kind of sweetness. That's, that's just what I like. That's just what I'm used to. But these are just so delicious. Very, very good. And I have so much crumbs on my desk. So now we have... Okay, so there are a pack of four. And these look like they're like little animal crackers. I don't know if you guys remember uh, little animal crackers. That's what it reminds me of. And I do love that it's Hello Kitty and Friends. Um, because sometimes I don't even feel like opening up a, a package because it's just so pretty. And then sometimes I do love to keep the packages itself. So we do see my Melody and Hello Kitty, Cinnamon Roll, Karomi, Pom Pom Porine, Pocaccio, My Little Twin Stars. I mean, you have everything. So let's see what the book says about these snacks. Ooh, so these say that these are the Hello Kitty and Friends ribbon biscuits. So I don't know if they sell them like in a pack of four because it almost looks like they belong together. They're all different colors and they're all assorted. And then you do have a chunk here that perhaps if you're going to hang it like on the, on the store shelves, you just hang it here and you get like your pack of four. And it does say Sunroom room friends up here. So pretty, I absolutely love it. These do say um, Sanrio 23, 2023, so I like that. So let's go ahead and detach the first little pouch because they are ripped for you to just tear off. So we got the Karomi Pom Pom Purine and Pocaccio little crackers. They're just little guys, little, 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 like little goldfish snacks. But I do like that these little biscuits, they have images of the Hello Kitty and Friends. See, you do see Pom Pom Purine, Pocaccio, Karomi, my Hello Kitty bow, and it's highlighted and then one is just outlined. So cute, guys. So let's see what it tastes like. And they taste just like animal, animal cookies, animal cracker cookies. Very good. I love it. Ooh, so here we go. Let's see. I see my Melody. And so here, oh no, she's broken, but that's okay. So this is a My Melody cookie. Now this was one of the cookies that really caught my attention when I was seeing it online. Now let's look it up. Okay, so this is my Melody Frosted Cookie. It says that it has a subtle sweetness, uh, makes it perfect biscuit to par with any milk or tea. So it does say subtle sweetness, and to me that means it's hardly sweet. But let's open it up and see what it tastes like. And so a piece has already been broken off gonna get that piece. So 
So it just looks like a shortbread almost cookie. So if this piece here, it's not frosted. It's frosted here on my Melody's little bow, little flower bow, and then of course her face. That's what's frosted, but it's one of those cookies that it has that heart frosting on it. It's like on the very low, low, low sweetness taste to it. So another thing I was noticing is on the actual packaging. It says my melody cookie it says 2013 so that's a little uh surprising um because it says 2013 sanrio instead of 2023 so does that mean that it's hard because it's not fresh or it's hard because that's just how the cookie should be now as far as over here on the back i don't understand any of this because it is japanese writing and i'm looking to see if there's another date because it's just a sticker on the packaging but I don't see another date on here so that's uh, you know that would be something that I'll maybe I can question a boxu subscription and see is this really a 2013 cookie so nevertheless a my melody cookie okay we have now I see a Hello Kitty here and we have a cookie and it does have Hello Kitty imprint on it, so cute. So this is the Hello Kitty Tokai Area Limited Printed Cookie. It's supposed to be a sweet cookie. Um, and it says that it's features in front of a map of the region which contains Aize Jingyu. Okay, so, and that's pretty much it for the packaging in it. In the back it just say that it's a printed cookie. So let's see what this Hello Kitty cookie tastes like. It's a very pretty cookie. I almost don't want to eat it. So I'm not sure if you can see it actually does give you like a printed um, map of their region. That is so cool. So let's see. Mm. very good and it tastes like a little shortbread cookie it's not a shortbread cookie and it is very very light tasting sweetness but fresh so now we have two of uh, looks like maybe more rice crackers and these are the omeshiso umazen rice crackers and these are savory snacks, not sweet snacks. So let's give it a taste. Very tiny rice crackers. Very, very tiny. Mm. Very light tasting, it's a rice cracker. It is savory, not that much flavor though, but nevertheless, very light tasting, very fresh. So we have two little packages of that. So now we come to the actual little Hello Kitty cup and saucer. But before that, I thought that I was supposed to have received like a little, um, oh, here we go. I realized I had forgotten this. So this is supposed to be also what was advertised on the website when you get uh, try to subscribe to the box. This is supposed to be a paper coaster, so it's a collectible one. Um, I'm afraid I wouldn't use this at all. I'm just going to put this like in a binder to, to save it because I don't want it to even get dirty or, you know, stained or something. Get it wet, warp or whatever. But this is so pretty. So, so, so pretty, and this is one of the items that counts as one of your items for the Boxu Hello Kitty and Friends box. So I didn't want to forget to mention that paper coaster. 
Okay, guys. Now we are down to what I am really, really excited for. So this is supposed to be the the little snack plate or the coaster or whatever you want to call it um, that is specific to Hello Kitty. it to be glossy so on the back it does say 2023 Sanrio it's very tiny guys almost the size of my palm and you do see Hello Kitty here just very light pink you don't feel though the design that's kind of I didn't think it was gonna be glossy I thought it was gonna be like a, a matte feel look but I don't feel the designs on here but you do see Hello Kitty and her little teddy bear. And then you do see all these the coral flowers surrounding the little plate. Very cute little plate. So let's see the cup. see this one is a little different so I'm not sure if you can see so you do see Hello Kitty here with her little teddy bear and then there's writing here in Japanese Sakura flowers and then you do see another image of Hello Kitty here with her little teddy bear as well so cool and then the back the bottom it does say 2023 I'm not sure how many ounces this is but it looks like it could be maybe like five, six ounces maybe, or maybe four ounces, something like that. It's very small. Um, but now this one does have what I was expecting on the plate because you do feel the, the images on the little cup. So it is glossy, but on the image it's, it has like a matte feel to it, like a, like a ceramic feel. And that is what I was looking for for this little plate. So to me, and actually the colors for these two are not the same. This is a darker pink. And then this is a very lighter pink. And I'm not sure if that comes across on the camera. But um, so this one was completely glazed. And this one, uh, it, it maybe it was glazed. But as far as the images are not glazed. And that's why you can feel that. That's kind of the aesthetic look that I was going for for this little plate nevertheless it's a very cute plate it it's not a match though but um, I love it so there you go cool so I think that I have unboxed pretty much everything so this is what the box inside looks like Just real quickly guys, um, fumbling through trying to put everything away on my desk after the unboxing, um, I noticed that I also have this awesome Hello Kitty sticker and um, I didn't know that it was included in this box so there is a total of 33 items in. So that is so awesome, so happy. Thank you. So I have unboxed uh, everything uh, from the Boxu Hello Kitty and Friends collaboration subscription box and I will say that I am happy with the box but I did promise you how much was this subscription box so now the box itself I did subscribe to the yearly box making it a cheaper price per box this was $359.94 for the year. I know. What? What do you? It's crazy. It's crazy expensive. I know that. But once you break it down per box, uh, from the $359.94, I did get a 30% 
uh, founding members it's like a promotional discount that they were giving so it brought it down to three hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety four cents divided by the six boxes that I think that we will get that comes down to fifty four dollars and ninety nine cents per box so when you look at it that way it's really not that much more expensive than some of the subscription boxes that I've subscribed to for Hello Kitty. Now with that, I also want to say that I no longer subscribe to the Kawaii box. I canceled that box. I just wasn't getting uh, satisfied with that box with the items that they were getting. So when I subscribe to a box, I want to get as much as Hello Kitty uh, collectible items as I can. And as far as the Kawaii box, although everything is so kawaii, everything is so cute, um, they were not including a lot of Sanrio stuff. In fact, sometimes they didn't even include Sanrio stuff and that was a bummer for me. So I just stopped that subscription for the Kawaii box. So the, for the Kawaii box, I was paying an average of about $24 per box. Another subscription box that I also canceled was the Pusheen box. The Pusheen box, was very very i mean i was so happy with each and every box that box is worth it no matter what they charge because the chunkiness of the items the quality of the items the amount of the items pushing box to me will always rank at the top from my two years of subscribing to pushing stopped my subscription with pushing box because I was hoping that because they had had a collaboration with Pusheen and Hello Kitty, maybe they would have made at least one of the boxes with Pusheen and Hello Kitty. I really wanted to get some hold of some of those items, but they never did. It was just plainly Pusheen and that's okay. It was just a gamble that I was uh, having a gamble with uh, subscribing to the Pusheen box. I didn't think that they were going to do it. I was hoping that they were going to do it, perhaps throw a little uh, one or two items for hello kitty but um and i was hoping that maybe later they would just make a subscription box for just pusheen and hello kitty i will be so down for that uh but they they haven't yet i you know i don't know what they have in the works with culture fly over there but as far as the pusheen box uh i was paying an average of 52 dollars a box with pusheen box totally worth it pusheen box is 52 dollars to me is totally worth with the items that they have inside. So with the price for the Pusheen box and the price of the Kawaii box that I no longer pay for, I said, let me do a new subscription that is totally brand new, you know, Japanese authentic, and hopefully they'll throw in goodies like these. That is what I am looking for. And it is very, to me, this is very unique. It's not something that you can go in the store and buy. So that is my reasoning, that is my logic for paying such a high price, but it makes sense per box because of what you're getting and also with what I am no longer paying for. And I hope that makes sense. So now let me give you my thoughts really quick. I hope that you have stuck around with me uh, all this time with this video. I hope that you were also able to see exactly the you know Japanese snacks that people eat over there in Japan. I've always had that curiosity of you know would I even make it in Japan because all I'm thinking about is what I'm gonna be eating and one of the things that I cannot do without is my sweet tooth so some of these items for sure will not satisfy my sweet tooth for anything but some of these items are very fulfilling on the sweet level that I'm looking for now as far as uh, the price, uh, because it's a very unique item and you do get items that you can keep, say, keep forever, to me that is very worth it. Uh, and, and again, I've already explained to you my logic for paying such a high price per uh, subscription box with for Hello Kitty. Now, as far as the items, they're all fresh items. They're very good items. Uh, what was crisp was crisp. What was supposed to be crunchy was crunchy. Soft, soft, mushy, mushy packaging everything was great i absolutely enjoyed all of that you can i mean the freshness in your mouth you it's unbeatable and you can't uh, really believe that they're coming from japan now as far as some of the items i do wish though that all the items look like this i do wish that all of the items had hello kitty had a lot of color some senru and friends um that is what i wish so even though this packaging was not actual Hello Kitty, 
the cookie itself and it was see-through to me that that's okay and that it's including like the my melody cookie it's a it's a Sanrio item this kind of packaging here that to me this is kind of what I was looking for something that it was going to say hello kitty and friends so packaging like this and I understand that these are authentic Japanese snacks but they're not Hello Kitty they're not some of your friends so not everything as far as packaging was um, Hello Kitty and friends so I do wish though that everything although very colorful and very pretty the packaging is is so nice I wish that it was at least images of Hello Kitty and friends so that is just my opinion on that Another thing that I just noticed and, and I did mention it briefly was this cookie in particular. I thought this cookie was going to be a little bigger. It did come broken, but to me that's okay. But one of my alerts was that the actual um, date on here says 2013. So is it an old cookie or what's going on here? So I'm very curious to know why would they include such an old cookie? Now it could be that it doesn't have an expiration date, but something that's edible, I mean, has an expiration date of what? No more than two years, maybe? Something like that. I, I don't know if it's really sealed. Um, but yeah, that is to me is alarming. Um, but I know that because of the image of the cookie, it is just too darn pretty. So, uh, but nevertheless, it's a very light, light, light tasting cookie. I wouldn't gravitate to maybe buying it because I'm not going to get any sweet level out of it. But that's, that is just one of my concerns. And then just lastly, another concern would be these two items. This is the items that I was really looking forward to because these are the items that I'm going to keep forever. And the, as far as the look is different. Um, and the feel of the cup was exactly what I was looking for, that rough feeling of the image, but the plate itself is, is glazed everywhere, very smooth, and I don't know if that affected the color, so it's not a match. To me, that's a bummer. And uh, I don't mind the smallness of the plate or the cup. It's pretty hefty. I don't mind the, that, that they're small, uh, but I do mind that it to me it doesn't feel like it's a match it doesn't go together just simply because of the color that's all nevertheless I'm glad I have them they're in one piece they're very beautiful and uh, this is really a teacup I can tell by the weight of it and this is just so darn cute so that is my thoughts as far as the snacks the quality of the snacks I'm not gonna knock down that well these snacks weren't sweet enough because that is just what uh, you get uh, even uh, in Los Angeles when you buy Asian snacks, Asian sweets, cakes, uh, treats, they have a very low uh, sweetness tasting. So that's kind of something that I already knew subscribing to this box that I knew that some of these snacks were not going to be at the high powerful, you know, buttercream sugar or, uh, sweetness flavor that, you know, that I like. Um, but it's good to taste other other items. I can't just be stuck with this buttercream taste up here. Um, and it's good to taste other uh, snacks uh, and from Japan Hello Kitty you can't beat that so I'm, I'm, I'm really 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 happy with this box I can't wait to see what they're gonna bring uh, what they're gonna be delivering for June I'm very happy that they delivered the box in the bubble wrap so the box itself didn't get dirty just part of the tip was a little smashed but that's okay I am gonna keep this box I absolutely love it I really like that it's clean really like that it's clean and I like that there's imprints of Hello Kitty on the box so that is exactly what I was looking for because I'm definitely keeping this box um, but those are my thoughts as far as the Hello Kitty and Boxu subscription box collaboration let me know what you think am I crazy would you actually subscribe to this box um, you know once you break it down the yearly subscription and then per piece meal what, what, what are your thoughts on that am i just crazy here <laughs> so but nevertheless if you guys stayed with me to the end of this video i want to thank you so much for watching this video i was really looking forward so much for this subscription box please give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new Hello Kitty video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.